Today I'm going to talk about how to use Fourier transforms to solve a differential equation. The equation I'm going to use today is dy dt plus 2y of t equals x of t. The question is, using Fourier transforms, find the output y of t for each of the following inputs. a, x of t equals e to the minus t u of t, and b, x of t equals u of t. To solve the differential equation, we convert it to frequency form and get j omega times y of omega plus 2y of omega equals x of omega. And simplifying that, we get y of omega times the quantity j omega plus 2 equals x of omega. Therefore, when we get h of omega, it equals 1 over j omega plus 2. Using the property e minus a t u of t Fourier transforms into 1 over j omega plus a, applying that to x of t, which is e to the minus t u of t, the Fourier transform of which becomes 1 over j omega plus 2. Therefore, when we solve for y of omega, which equals x of omega times h of omega, we get 1 divided by the quantity j omega plus 2 times j omega plus 1, which, using partial fractions, then becomes 1 over j omega plus 1 minus 1 over j omega plus 2. At the end of this film, I will have a detailed explanation of the partial fractions. Using y of omega and the property given on the previous slide, we can calculate that y of t equals e to the minus t minus e to the minus 2t all that times u of t. For part b, using the property u of t Fourier transforms into 1 over j omega plus pi delta of omega, we can then calculate y of omega equals x of omega times h of omega, and in this case it equals the quantity 1 divided by j omega plus pi times delta of omega times the quantity 1 over j omega plus 2. Continuing with simplifying y of omega, we get 1 divided by j omega times the quantity j omega plus 2 plus 1 over j omega plus 2 times pi times delta of omega, which then, using partial fractions, equals 1 half 1 over j omega minus 1 half 1 over j omega plus 2 plus pi over 2 times delta of omega. Simplifying that even further, we get minus one-half times one over j omega plus two plus one-half times the quantity one over j omega plus pi times delta of omega. Therefore, using the property previously given, we end up with y of t equals minus one-half times e to the negative two t u of t plus one-half u of t, which simplifies to one-half times the quantity one minus e to the minus two t u of t.